like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Mostly found in Africa, lions are the biggest felines in the world and are often called the king of beasts. Lions symbolize courage, majesty, and strength. Male lions are identifiable from a significant distance due to their mane, which can be used as a marking for age, nutrition, and the climate of their habitat. Their immense body weight gives them an extra benefit in taking down prey, alongside their strong jaws and sharp claws. Lions are social animals that hunt for food and live in groups called prides. Often, there tends to be strong competition for food, as successful hunts are limited and members of the pride strive to eat as much as they can when food is available. 10 Most Unique Lions in the World Number 10. Southwest African Lion the Southwest African lion, also known as the Katanga lion, is found in southwestern Africa in countries like Zaire, Angola, Zimbabwe, western Zambia, northern Botswana, and Namibia. They are one of the largest lion subspecies today. Fully grown adult males are usually around 2.5 to 3 meters or 8.2 to 9.8 feet long, whereas females are a bit smaller at 2.3 to 2.6 meters or 7.5 to 8.5 feet. Male cubs average around 77 kilograms or 170 pounds in weight, and females mostly weigh 20% less than males. Adult males weigh around 140 to 242 kilograms, or 308 to 533 pounds, while females weigh between 105 and 170 kilograms, or 231 to 375 pounds. They have lighter colored manes compared to other lion subspecies. Their diet is carnivorous, which includes animals such as zebras, antelopes, and warthogs. Within the creation of packs, male lions mostly do not hunt but rather watch their cubs while lionesses do the hunting. The U.S. has classified this species of lions as endangered alongside the African lion. Number 9. Maasai Lion the Maasai lion, also known as the East African lion, can be located in East Africa, where it lives in countries such as Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. Considering their figure, the Maasai lions have a bit less curved backs and longer legs when compared to all other subspecies of lions. Little clusters of hair are there in the knee joints of males which also stand out from other species. The manes of the Maasai lion seem to look as if they have been groomed backwards, and the aged males have stockier manes than the younger ones. Another fact is that the Maasai lions that reside in the highlands more than 762 meters or 2,600 feet above consist of heavier manes than those that reside in the lowland areas. The male Maasai lions can grow to a length of about 2.5 to 3 meters or 8.2 to 9.8 feet. Lionesses are a bit smaller, with their lengths stretching from 2.3 to 2.5 meters or 7.5 to 8.5 feet. Number 8. Ethiopian Lion even though the Ethiopian lions are genetically different, they still roam in groups with other lions from West Africa, portraying a solid influence on lion populations that used to occupy Europe and the Middle East. It's a sad fact that there are very few of these lions surviving in Ethiopia, and the ones that are living are badly scattered and isolated. The complete number of lions is thought to be around 2 to 300. Alongside that, the uncertainty of South Sudan and Somalia creates danger to the existence of those lions residing on Ethiopia's southern and western borders. Ethiopian lions are known for their unusually black manes, and they are becoming a very rare sight over the years. So, there is a need for a well-organized program to measure the numbers of the remaining populations of lions in Ethiopia in order to secure their populations and balance their habitats, which would eventually help in allowing the increase of future populations for this species. Number 7. Barbary Lion Barbary lions used to be local to North Africa, including the Atlas Mountains, but sadly for now, they no longer reside in the wild. The Barbary lion was considered to be one of the biggest lion subspecies. They had dark, long-haired manes, which wrapped over their shoulders and down to their belly. It is assumed that the Barbary lions develop the colors and size of their manes because of their surrounding temperatures, their diet, and their level of testosterone. It is most likely that they grew out of such long manes as a result of the temperature of the Atlas Mountains, which is a lot lower compared to the other areas of Africa. The only Barbary lions that you will now find are the ones that are settled in zoos or are part of a global and collaborative breeding program to protect their future survival. Barbary lions are a major part of history. The Romans used Barbary lions in the Colosseum to fight with gladiators. Thousands of these cats were killed during the rule of Caesar. These lions were also placed in the menagerie in the Tower of London and were gifted out to the Moroccan and Ethiopian royal families. Number 6. Ishasha Lion In different places around the world, you won't hear much about lions climbing trees. 
As a matter of fact, though, only two lion populations in this world are known to be tree-climbing lions who do it as a behavior. Uganda is lucky to be one of the habitats for these lions, in the Queen Elizabeth National Park southern side, while the other is in the Lake Manyara National Park southern side in Tanzania. These lions and ishasha climb to the treetops as a way of keeping themselves safe from crawling insects and gnawing tsetse flies that are near the ground. However, many people think that they move from branch to branch to get warmth and stay away from the heat that is down below near the ground. Winds are cool in the branches, and this may be one assumed reason that makes the lions climb up. But still, the main reason for this climbing remains unknown. During evenings, the lions can be found on the trees, resting from the cool tree shelters after having meals that they previously hunted. Number 5. Transvaal Lion The Transvaal Lion, Panthera leo krugeri, also titled the Kruger, South Africa or Southeast African Lion, is a subspecies of the lion that is reported to reside in Southern Africa, including Kruger National Park and H. Lane Royal National Park. More than 2,000 lions of this subspecies are in the well-protected Kruger National Park. Lions of the Kalahari region may either be Panthera leo krugeri or Panthera leo blienbergi. It is termed after the Transvaal region in South Africa. The male lions usually have a well-developed mane. Most of them are black-maned as well. Male lions are around 3 to 3.2 meters, or 8.5 to 10.5 feet long, including the tail. Females are 2.3 to 2.7 meters, or 7.7 .7 to 9 feet long. Generally, the weight of males is 150 to 250 kilograms, or 330 to 551 pounds, while the females are 110 to 182 kilograms, or 242 to 401 pounds. They have a shoulder height of 0.9 to 1.2 meters, or 3 to 4 feet. This subspecies of the lion does look highly majestic. Number 4. Asiatic Lions Almost all wild lions live in the sub-Saharan Africa, but one small section of Asiatic lions lives in India's Gir Forest. Asiatic lions and African lions are subspecies of the same species. Asiatic lions once roamed from the Middle East to India, but for now, only a small number of these royal animals survive in the wild. The Gita forests are a reserve where these big cats that are at risk are heavily protected. Young males in time leave and may create their own pride by taking over a group guided by another male. Only the male lions show off their manes, the amazing fringe of long hair that surrounds their heads. Males look after the pride's territory by marking the area with urine, roaring threateningly to warn intruders and chasing off animals that try to invade their turf. Female lions are the pride's primary hunters. They often work in groups to prey upon large mammals. Number 3. Cave Lion Cave lions, Panthera spelea, are relatives of modern African lions. They used to live widely across the Northern Hemisphere in the period of the last Ice Age, the chilly epoch that spanned from almost 2.1 million to 11,600 years ago. Unlike their modern cousins, these large cats are said to be 10% larger than the modern cats and are adapted to extremely severe conditions, including freezing winds and long, cold winters through continuous nights. Their images are depicted in various cave paintings as having color fluffs and stripes. These lions receive their names not for living inside caves, but because of the numerous skeletons of them found in cave bear habitats. These lions used to hunt, finding opportunities to prey on hibernating cave bears. There is no specific answer to why this species of lion went extinct. Some specific researchers believe that cave lions went extinct because of being hunted down by humans. Number 2. The White Lion the first known sighting of the white lion occurred in 1938, but several people believe that they have been there for centuries before that. You will find them in the Kruger and Tembavadi region of South Africa. They vanished in the wild after a rise in killings for trophy hunting. Right at this moment, the few number of white lions that are left in the wild are all due to the reintroduction programs that were created as an action of stabilizing their population and preventing the hunting of these lions. There are hundreds of them kept in captivity, too, in zoos such as Belgrade Zoo and the Lion Nature Reserve in Kruger National Park. It is assumed that there are only 13 of them left in the wild. Number 1. Black Lion Does the black lion actually exist? We are not sure what to give as an answer. Some possibility is still there. Even though many claim to have seen the black lion, there is no proper picture of one to prove its existence. There was a report in the mid-19th century of a huge black Persian lion. It was described as dark in color and some parts of the body almost black. A partially black lion was born at Glasgow Zoo but was infertile. This color was mainly mostly due to somatic mosaicism. This lion had a pitch black mane, extending the length of the inside from the front leg across the chest. So, this somatic mosaicism may have caused the sightings of such black lions. That is all for today's video. 
Thank you all for watching. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!